Oh, another one. Keep it low. Oh, 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 it's another nice one. Oh, man. Yeah, they're not far No, they're close. Gotta keep a little of the water so it doesn't fly out the water. That's when you lose them. Well, when they go up, you bring your rod down. Yeah. Oh, another, bl another blimp. <laughs> What's the buck is up? Hope you're having a bucket on Rage's Day. So today, we're jigging for smallies. Alright, we're just making it out in the morning again. Got Jerry Bear with me. What? Oh, I'm dragging my cord. Thank you, Jerry. Wow, the water's at glass, bro. Where do you want to go? Right here? Right? I mean, or do you, you want to go in between? Hello! We'll try right here. Yeah, okay. It's already jam packed down there. And yeah. It's <laughs> very intimidating to walk down that way. <laughs> Too much kung fu? Yeah. Which all right. Going on over there. So, the overcast conditions, they're calling for a little bit of rain that's in the background right there. You can see it coming for about a half hour, Jerry says. It's on the satellite image, and the water is just like glass. Holy smokes, bro. It's so blue right now. But there's a lot of dead mayflies in the water, you can see. But I think it's gonna be great today. I got here and I just seen like a six foot sturgeon jump out in the water there. It was huge. But hopefully somebody catches that. Good sign of fish though. I wonder if anybody's got anything down there. Probably, Probably eh? Probably. But we're gonna be jigging. Right yeah. So we're gonna be jigging tubes today. Right there. That's a 3.75 inch tube pumpkin color and I'm going to use a tactical fishing jigging special on this episode and oh Jerry you almost had a fish already holy smokes okay he's got me itching and I'm going to use a carbon X reel so let's get in this water and we'll be jigging with 3H jig and hopefully we can crush, crush some fish all right so what I'm doing here is I got a tube and it's just actually a tube jig on the inside that you slip on the inside there this one's a little bit beat up because i've been catching fish with it but i'm going to show you guys what i'm doing i gotta tie it directly on my braid and i got my rod and what i'm doing is i'm going to cast one o'clock because the current is running this way on the detroit river you know what i'm saying so it runs from east to west so what you want to do is cast up one o'clock just like that Close your bail as soon as you hit the water. Now I'm using a 3H jig so it's going to take a lot longer to actually hit the bottom and actually feel it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to wait for it to feel it hit the bottom. And when it hits the bottom you feel it rest on the bottom, you feel a thud. And that's what I'm waiting for. This is an amazing technique for smallmouth bass. You're going to truly love it because once you get the bite you'll feel it. You know what I'm saying? You'll feel like a nice thud to it. You just cram it right down in the throat. So I'm trying to find that bottom still. All right, I just hit the bottom. So now I'm picking up the jig. This one's really light, so I just want to pick up very light. Let it hit the bottom, pick up my slack. Pick up the jig, let it hit the bottom, reel my slack. Pick up the jig, let it hit the bottom, reel my slack. Pick up the jig, let it hit the bottom, reel my slack. And that's what I want to do over and over. And at one of the points, you might get a bite where it's falling and it hits the bottom and you feel a thud. Or sometimes you jig it up like this, all of a sudden you feel it grab. And that's the tough one because when you get it on the up, it's actually harder to hook set because your, your rod is already up, right? So when you try to get that extra hook set there, very, very difficult. But if you can actually achieve that, all the power to you. But that's what we're doing out here to actually tube jig on the Detroit River for smallmouth bass. Very simple concept, very easy, and actually covers a lot of ground. So, guys, get out here and try that. Let's get the fishing. Beautiful morning.
Everything's flowing from the lake down this way, though. You can see it all in the water. Yep. Damn. Fish yeah, even weeds. Yep. All right, you can see all the larva shells. You're right. Damn. Oh, well, we'll see. There's going to be fish down there. Imagine uh, like getting the sturgeon in. That'd be nuts. Like we don't even have a net to net it. Yeah, but just say we get it right to the side here. Yeah. That's 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 more than enough to me. Like if you get to touch it, I'm you'd cool have with that. To, or you'd have to reach over so you get the hook, cut the hook, or get the hook out of its mouth. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just just just, just to touch it. That's it. That, I'll be I'll be happy. That bitch and pull it up. No, I don't even want to do that. I, I just you know saying like we'll we hold it in the water. Get in the water and hold it. Yeah. Hang on to the side and just get the water and hold it. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. We're small most of the day, bro. Yeah. You got time. Yeah, last time we said that, they spit mine. This is a brute. She's a fighter. Beautiful first fish. Thank you. What do you say, two pounds? There you go. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, sir. All right, gotta get the stringer out. Just kidding. <laughs> so, guys, there you go. There's the first small mouth of the day. Uh, I bet you guys got worried for a second when I said that, eh? Time to get the stringer out. I mean, they are very, very good eating, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But beautiful, brother. Beautiful. You can't ask for anything better. Give me some fist. Thank you. Thank you. That bronze back hit it when I was jigging up. Started darting crazy. But great way to start the day. There you go. I'm jealous. Guardians of the smallies, brother. Whew. Uh, that means my next fish is a sheephead. You think so? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Jerry's a sheephead master. He caught like 70 pounds the other day. So here you go. Same pumpkin too that I'm using there. That's what they love. Oh my Another one. Keep it low. Oh, 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 it's another nice one. Oh, man. Yeah, they're not far No, they're close. You gotta keep a little of the water so it doesn't fly out the water. That's when you lose them. Well, when they go up, you bring your rod down. Yeah. Oh, another, bl another blimp. <laughs> Turn his head around. There you go, brother. Thank you. Damn, that was like the, almost like the next cast. I'll, uh, I'll just sit in that. <laughs> Here you guys go. My job is just to sit in that. <laughs> wow, it's a big one. <laughs> you catch big one? Oh yeah. Holy smokes, bro. He choked it. He did. He did. I'm trying to get this out. Swallowed that. Yeah, I might need some flyers. Thank you, sir. Get this out of here. There you go. Same tube. Thank you, Jerry. That one's a big one. No. 
I, I, I just catch and release. Yeah. So there you go. That's about a three. Nice and lengthy. It's all spawned out. The belly is all like saggy right here. But beautiful thick fish right there. <sighs> Same tube. Just crushing them. Got that right on the bottom. It's like almost like the next cast. If I would have left my camera just running. Oh man. Cool. Let's get another fish, bro. There it is. Another one. Felt that right away. Keep that low. I don't know where you're at, so I don't want to reel in. Third small the other day, if I can land this. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is that? It's a sheep. Sheeper? It's a sheep! No! It, so, it was there was so much head shakes going on. Yeah, my sheepers did the same thing too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a sheep on a tube. Oh no! Thank you, sir. Good size. Good for the barbecue shit, eh? What barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> That's small compared to what I was catching yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. Jared's getting double that. You're, you're getting uh, I was the, the, my the trophy sheep, ones. Yeah, he was. My sheep have were averaging over 15 pounds. Yeah, they were pounds. huge. You know, me and Zoltan, uh, not Zoltan, sorry. All right, guys, so right there, jumbo sheep head. Flop around too much. Woo! Got some weeds or something. Something. Don't know what it is. Oh. Yeah. So where were you guys going for with the boat? Smallmouth? What? Smallmouth. Well, where? For smallmouth? The lake. In the lake. Lake? Yeah. Lake. Like 14, 15 feet. Just doing. Just... Yep, he's got one. Yeah? I think so. Yeah, I can't. It's not coming off the bottom. No, it might be, no, it might be a small one. Eh, it's hard to tell at the moment. Feels like a sheep head. Yeah. Sheep? It's pinned. It's, pinned. it's a sheep head. I got it pinned. Alright, I'm gonna come in and get it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a sheep head. <laughs> Catching a lot of fish right now, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. Big old sheep head. Yeah? Garmin's gonna be tired again. Jerry's favorite fish to catch. No, it's Apparently. not. <laughs> they, they love biting your line, man. They do. It's a sense in your in your fingers. It's gotta be. I wipe my ass. Gotta wash your paper. hands once in a while. Yeah. Get rid of that scent. Yeah. Hey, Buck. I wipe yeah. my ass with the toilet paper. You gotta rub your hands against Buck, then you catch the, uh, a smallie. No. <laughs> oh, that's a big sheep head. Oh yeah, nothing but oh, the best, yeah. buddy. <laughs> nice hook set though. Look at the See the mouth is right open yeah. and it's perfect hook set. <laughs> Nothing but the best for me when it comes to sheep head. <laughs> oh man. You know what? Is that missing his cheek? It is missing his cheek. It's missing you his cheek. What? If you didn't catch anything, a sheep head would be great. Yeah. Catch. Thank you so much. There you go, sir. Been in the river a while. Yep. Uh, I think it's on the top of the mouth. Can't get small mouth like that though. <laughs> I think he's a monster. You gotta put your time in here. Oh yeah. No, Jerry. Jerry catches fish. This is just you have your days, man. 
Some people just have the days. Some people just. You guys are bed put in a lot of time. <sighs> nice catch, Jerry. Really bad feeling when you lose something. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it was like less than five minutes of leaving the ramp and going so back. Empty for the rest of the day, though. Oh yeah, like, that's how no I felt. What, what you do that day, you could not. I was disappointed in myself yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like how? I how told him I... right away because we seen Kyle Moxon when we went back. He was already out. We drove by him. Moxon didn't say nothing to us. I'm like, dude, we go, we, we were leaving the marina because he went and asked the kid and everything. Nobody seen nothing. He's at the light, turning right. We're going to turn left. I'm about to get up, go right up and see if he found it. And then the light went green, he turned. I'm like, dude, I'm like, message Moxon right now. I said, anybody who's the next one out behind us. Sure enough, message Moxon. And by like a day or two later, just had that push. Yeah, yeah. You know that feeling? Like we all have sometimes. You said that's yeah. going to happen and it does happen. Yeah. But it was karma because I got that guy's GoPro back to him too earlier in the season. You know what I'm saying? Like the guy left it on the rail. You know what? Like you said, karma. Yeah. Around goes around. Good things happen to good people. For, oh yeah, for, for sure. Reasons. For sure. Like for sure. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit older yeah. than you guys, and I always believe if you do good things, it always comes back. But if you're an asshole, one day it might be a long time. It's gonna hit you. Oh yeah, it it's is. It's gonna bite you. It is. Ass. It is. It's so true. You to get, take advantage of people all, yeah. all your life. Yeah. One day, yeah, it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you, and you're gonna pay for it. Yeah, you did. yeah, you're gonna feel it. My dad always said, "Do good stuff and forget about it." Yeah, you do something wrong, remember because it's gonna come and haunt you. It's so true. It's so true. You always do something and don't respect anything. Yeah, I believe in karma, man. Middle Mike one time was fishing the corner, and he left. He left, and I was yeah. just talking to Coco. Yeah. yeah, I looked, and he left his. Um, I think it was a Fenwin. Okay. And I, Grabbed it. I said, "That's Mike." Yeah. Coco goes, "No, it's not." I said, "That's Mike. I know it's Mike's." Yeah. So I run all the way to the parking lot. I said, "Where's your rod?" He goes, "In my rod holder." <laughs> I said, "Oh, okay. Is this your rod?" <laughs> yeah. How'd you get a hold of that? I said, "You left it in the corner." <laughs> I took it out yeah. of the rod holder. I was asking, "Did you forget something?" Yeah. Uh, you know. The next time I'm at the uh, city marina, I found a bag like yours full of stuff. Yeah. Nobody was there. I picked it up, put it in my my truck. Next day I go down there and this guy walking around goes, anybody ever found a taco uh, bag yesterday? I said, well, what color? And he explained it. Oh my gosh. Mr. And I went Fish. in my truck and I give it to him. He goes, oh my God, I got over a couple hundred dollars stuff in there. Yeah. My meds and everything. I said, here. Damn. I said, I said nothing. What do you mean what you owe me? That's awesome, Paul. Yeah. I'm glad you got it back. Yeah, karma, bro. Watch this. Free tackles. But you know what? All right, guys, so we got the vehicle of the day in front of us. G3 Marquis. Looks like an empty freighter ship. I think it's huge. Look at the wake on the front of that thing, bro. <laughs> you ever put your boat beside it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been. To, uh, last time we were on the river coming back in at uh, Chewy. Yeah. There was a boat right there docked unloading rock. Yep. We just squeezed between him and the ramp as they get into the ramp. Yeah. What do you think this one hauls? Rock? No, there's no, no. crane on top. No. no. Fuel? Container. Yeah, those are containers, right? I don't know. Probably containers get this done. You guys tell me what it hauls, alright? But vehicle of the day. Hey, still fish. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> you call you called it. You called it. <laughs> you called that. Oh did it come off? Oh no, it's still there. <laughs> yeah. Switch it up to a pumpkin. Well, I have a pump gun with a perfect tail. I have another one in the box, right? Don't I? Have, I? I have a pack of them too. I have the zone, X zone one. Okay, okay, okay. The green pumpkin with the red flake in it. Yeah. I, just, I don't want to cut off and have to retie again. That's my issue. That's what I hate about two fishing. <sighs> there you guys go. Third small of the day. Not so big, roughly about a poundish or so. 12 inch here, but beautiful fight. It started darting towards me. I thought I lost it for a second. But when I actually got the fish at the beginning, I hit it, got off. Then Jerry was like, 
It might come back and hit you and then boom. As soon as I said it, it did. Yeah. <laughs> That was actually pretty cool, bro. I, think I finished the sentence. No. <laughs> you called it, bro. Oh, man. That's what's fun about these fish. Crazy. You never know. Yeah? Because I got the camera off. Nice. Oh, nope, smalling. Yep. I got you, brother. Oh, that's a nice one, too. There you go, brother. Finally! No, because I'm not filming. <laughs> so Jerry's first small of the day. Probably a pound and a half or so. Nice thick fish. On the pumpkin, trying, too. Trying not to get the hook in the mouth. Yeah. The finger. Feisty, bro. Yeah, awesome. Nice catch, brother. Thank you, thank you. Because I wasn't filming. <laughs> Move over like 10 feet and boom. Yep. All right, let's get another one. That guy was real close. I was just, I was just ending my drift. I was just, just starting to reel in. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, fish the inside. I my balance and I just started reeling in all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Oh, my open his bail again. Ah, man. I just got that tied on. It was brand new, too. Was that my other two? Yeah. Uh, I got no more of that color. That was the last one. Man. All right. Try again. After casting without opening my bail. <laughs> Let's try this again. So, so far, a little update. Oh, Jerry. Jerry's on another fish. We've been traveling down the rail. We started off over there. Is it? Hey, a fish is a fish. So we started at the gate opening over there and we started working our way down. I got about three small mouths and a sheephead. Jerry's got a small mouth and now he's about to do another sheephead. Oh, it's a smallie. That's a smallie. That's a big one too. Fighting like a sheephead. Oh, wow. It's horsing you. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a brute. Oh yeah, oh it's a brute. Oh yes, damn nice Jerry. Oh yeah, nice, good three pounder there. That's solid fish. Barely even hooked. Hey, eh? came off. Oh wow, beautiful fish, brother. So you guys go. Actually, I'm gonna get on this side to get a nice clear view because the sun's on this side. Get a nice shot of this fish. So that is Jerry's tanker there. What a beauty. Holy oh, smokes, bro. Oh yeah, easily. Easily, bro. Nice. Had to wipe the lens off for a second there because it got some water splashes, but the catch, bro, yeah. <laughs> Just doing an update there. So we worked our way down here, but Check out the skyline scenery right there. That's beautiful. That's Detroit. We got Belle Isle right in front of us, but this is what we come out here for. Catching nice fish like that and checking out the sights. All right, guys, we're gonna end our day there. Uh, we just did a quick morning session. I ended up getting like three smallmouth bass and a sheep, and I think Jerry got two sheep heads and a uh, nice smallmouth bass. Or did you get two? You got two, yeah. So he got two. So five in total. I mean, just for a quick session, it's actually pretty good. Gonna get off the water right now because it's actually starting to get very warm and we're actually hungry. So I'm about to catch you on the next one. You guys need any of the tackle or anything like that, tactical fishing rods and all that stuff, and there's a link in the description below. You can also get an LZ Pro tackle. Fuck off. Maybe you give me ice and fire. You're chilling wind and rain. Yes, I'm gonna Nah, no, I didn't. Fish. <laughs> what do you think of Largy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm
Oh, it's a smallie. Oh, it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bass. <clears throat> Choked your chat. Choked his chat, mate. As soon as you hit the water. Wow. What do you say, three? Oh, cool, yeah.